Yoga is a great tool for checking in with your emotions, checking in with how you feel that we don't often get to do in this busy, chaotic world. And sometimes in that exploration and kind of looking a little into what you're feeling, there might be some stuff in there that you want to let go of. And that's what this practice is about. If you've got blocks, a pair of yoga blocks or similar objects, they'll be really useful for this. And I'm hoping that after this practice, your mind may feel a little lighter. We're gonna start in a child's pose today. So take your knees as wide as the mat. An inch your arms out. Take your time to spread yourself along the mat. Sinking your hips towards your heels, forehead towards the mat. Really stretch out those arms and then let yourself sink. I'm gonna take three really deep breaths here. Inhale through the nose and send it out through the mouth. Long and noisy breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, let it go. One more like this, the most you've done so far. In through the nose, really let it go. And then just coming back to a more steady breath in and out through the nose. Just taking a couple of seconds here to link in with yourself to notice anything that's going on for you or anything that you're feeling right now. Any number of things that you're feeling. Just noticing. And then if there's any things that keep creeping into your mind that are not really welcome there right now, maybe shopping lists or worries about something that's already happened today or worries about what's yet to come, anger towards something that happened this morning. As you exhale, can you imagine you're breathing it out? You're letting it go. And it might swim on back in on the inhale. But just blow it out again with that breath. Maybe it comes in again on the inhale, or maybe there's something else there. Just blow it out on the exhale. That's all you've got to do. Keep letting it go. Take one more breath here. And then as you inhale, lift your gaze up towards the fingertips. Exhale to come up into an all fours position bringing the knees in underneath the hips. Inhale, drop belly, roll shoulders back, lift chest. Exhale to send spine all the way up to the ceiling. And then inhale, keep this spine up, but take it all the way back as you sit on your heels in your child's pose, just for a breath. And then with your next inhale, look up towards those fingers again. Exhaling to rise to all fours. Inhaling to drop belly, roll shoulders back. Bring head up. Exhale to bring spine all the way up to the ceiling. Inhale, send it back. Keeping that spine up. Finding your child's pose. Exhale here. Inhale, gaze up towards your fingertips. Exhale, rise to all fours. Inhale, drop the belly, roll shoulders back, lift the head and bum. Exhale, press the spine up towards the ceiling. Inhale, send it back to child's pose. Exhale here. Inhale, gaze up towards those fingertips. Exhale, lift up to hands and knees. Inhale, drop belly, roll shoulders back, lift the head, exhale, send spine up towards the ceiling, inhale, send it back, child's pose, exhale here, 
And then this time, inhale to look towards the fingertips. Come up slightly so that you can tuck your toes. And then press yourself all the way back to your downward facing dog. And just shake that head from side to side. Nod it up and down. Just release the neck. And then find some stillness, pressing the hips high, spreading those fingers. Now start to walk up towards your hands, one foot at a time, maybe along the center of your mat, like a tightrope walking all the way up to the front. And then placing feet hip width apart and letting yourself dangle here. Maybe grabbing a hold of opposite elbow, sinking the arms, the tip of the head down towards the mat. Pressing the weight forwards, hips over heels. Exhale, release it a little further down. And then release the hands, tuck chin into chest, roll all the way up. And then can you cross your thumbs in front of you and inhale to lift your hands high, palms pressing forward, thumbs crossed. Snuggling those shoulders, upper arms, back beside your ears, lifting the chest, maybe pressing the hips slightly forward as the chest lifts. Keep a softness in the knees. And then exhale to take them wide, send the bum back, fold all the way down. Inhale, hands come to shins, find a half lift, reach that chest open, press bum back, exhale, release it down. Step right and left foot back to plank. Shoulders stacking over wrists and then release the knees down to the mat, elbows back towards you as the whole body presses down. Fingers just in front of shoulders as you peel open a cobra. Rolling the shoulders back. Stretching the chest high. Exhale, release it down. Bring those hands back under the shoulders, press up to knees, tuck your toes, lift your hips high, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg and then bend the knee. So three-legged dog, but opening that hip with a bent leg. Send the right knee up towards the ceiling, heel into the bum, and then step the right foot all the way through between the hands. Straighten the front leg, bend the back just slightly to help you shoot this left leg all the way up to the front. Feet are hip width. And can you cross those thumbs? And as you inhale, sweep your arms high, palms facing forward, bringing those upper arms around beside your ears, lifting up through the chest. Exhale, send the arms wide, bum back as you fold. Inhale, hands come to shins, find a lift. Lift the chest, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, release it down. Step left and right foot back to plank. Palms stacking underneath shoulders, lower the knees. Send the elbows back all the way down to the mat. Inhaling, hands just in front of shoulders as you peel up to your cobra, maybe a little taller this time. Keeping a bend in the elbows, rolling those shoulders back and then release it down. Inhale, press up to knees. Tuck your toes, lift your hips high, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg rises, bend the knee, press it up towards the ceiling, opening the hip, three-legged dog, but with a bend in the leg. And then step the left foot through between the hands. Straighten the front leg, bend the back leg just for a second to propel this right foot forward. And then cross the thumbs, inhale as you rise, palms face forward, reach up in front of you, snuggle those upper arms back behind you as the palms reach to the ceiling. And then release the hands down beside you, palms facing in front, roll the shoulders back, maybe close the eyes just for a second. Breathing in. And 
and flutter the eyes open. Edge the feet in together, toes touching, big toes touching. And put a bend in the knees, send the bum back. Make sure that you can see the toes in front of the knee. Send the arms high, but then open them to a cactus. Elbows wide in your chair. Press down through the heels, roll the shoulders back, lift open the chest as you send the bum back. Take a deep breath here. Sink it a little more. Can you let go in these moments of intensity where it feels like a lot? Can you let go of anything that's coming to your mind and saying you can't do it? Or this is too much, or I don't feel like this. Can you let it go? One more breath here, sink a little deeper. And then release the arms as you fold all the way down. Let yourself dangle. And then step right and left foot back to downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward into your plank, either lowering the knees to the ground or lowering the body in one, all the way down. And then bringing yourself up to a cobra, really spreading those fingers as you press the chest forward. Press hips and tops of feet down into the mat. Exhale, release it down. Inhale, press up to knees, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. And then inhale to rise your right leg, bend it again just for a breath, pressing the right knee high. And then step the right foot to the outside of the right hand and bring that left knee down. Let's breathe here, lift the chest. Any blocks that you would like, if your hands don't quite reach the floor or it feels uncomfortable up on tiptoes of fingers, tiptoes of fingers, tiptoes. The clue's in the name, isn't it? It's only the toes. Tip fingers, not a thing. <laughs> but you can press your hands into a block to lift yourself a little. Now we're gonna secure this left hand, whether it's into a block or to the floor. And can you give a thumbs up in front of you with the right hand? Thumbs up, and then send that thumbs up round to the right and back behind you. Now roll this right shoulder back. You can look open to the right hand side. Maybe you start to lift that back foot and maybe your hand grabs a hold as you press foot into hand and roll right shoulder back. You wanna be leaning on the bit just above your knee. And you can always put a blanket, a bit of cushioning underneath if this is a little bit too much. Just go cautiously though. You can always stay with that right arm back behind you, foot to the floor. Wherever you are though, look round to the right. And then gently release that foot if you've got a hold. Take this right arm all the way back down at the front. And can you lift your back knee and send your right leg high, three-legged dog. Yeah, so straight back into that three-legged dog. Take that leg high. Deep breath here. And then step your foot through between the hands. Ground your back foot to open up to a warrior two. So bending through that front leg, reaching the arms wide. Now we're gonna straighten this front leg. Reach far as you can with that right hand as the left hip presses back. And then send the right hand palm facing up towards your right shin, left arm high. Stretch the space between the fingertips. Roll this left hip back like you're pressing the whole of your back against a really stable wall. Take a deep breath here. You can always grab a block and press your hand into a block on the inside of your leg. Anything that feels good. Now if you do have a block, it's gonna come really in handy for this next pose. So we're gonna bend into this right knee. The block, if you've got it, comes to the right hand side of your right foot, left hand to hip. Now on any of the settings, but the higher the better. Just be careful of the wobble, it gets less stable uh, as it gets higher. And then we're gonna send that back leg high. As you lift up into your half moon, you want to face over to the left. You're flexing that back leg, so the block helps to give you some height. Roll that left shoulder back, and maybe you lift that left arm high. Deep breath here, really challenging balancing pose. 
stretch the distance between those arms, you could look up to those left fingertips. Otherwise, keep your gaze to the side. Just breathe. Now, if you want to take this a little bit further and you were okay when we were down on the floor and grabbing a hold of the foot, you could do the same here. Bending your back foot, grabbing a hold with your left hand and then pressing foot into hand as you open up the body here in your chapasana. Take a deep breath wherever you are. Remember, you can always stay in that half moon. I know we've been here a while, you've got it. And then if you've got a hold of that foot, gently releasing it, bringing this left arm all the way back down. <laughs> Such a head of plant here. <laughs> all the way back down to the ground. Block just lifting out of the way. Ground that back foot to warrior two feet. Keep that bend in the front leg and just ripple the arms back to find a reverse warrior. Bending through that front knee. Deep breath here. And then spiral the hands down around the front foot, turn into a lunge and step the right foot back to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here. And as you exhale, sink the heels a little closer towards the mat. Then with your next inhale, rise your left leg. Bend the knee, open the hip, just for a breath. And then send this left foot to the outside of the left hand. Lower your right knee. And again, you might like a block to press your hands onto as you stay here in this lizard lunge. Toes are pointing, so this left foot, toes are pointing in the same way as the knee. So my toes are slightly off the mat, turning out to the side slightly. If you would like to do the same as we did on the other side, making sure you've got space between your legs so that when you do lift that foot, you're on the part just above your knee, plant that right hand into the mat, thumbs up to the front with the left. Great job, and then take it all the way back. Hand all the way back, maybe lift the foot, maybe grab a hold of the foot, press foot into hand, roll left shoulder back. Remember, you can always stay with that foot down to the ground, just turning to the left. If you have got a hold of that foot, pressing the foot into the hand. And then gently release the foot down. Reach that left arm all the way to the front, in between, or in the side, that front foot. Lift the back knee. Can you step this left foot straight back to three-legged dog? Yes, lifting it high. And then this time, stepping it through between the hands, grounding your back foot, rising up to a warrior two. Spreading the arms wide, releasing shoulders from ears. And then straightening the front leg, reaching as far forward as you can with that left hand, right hip presses back behind you. Reach, reach, reach. And then send the hand down towards the shin, maybe to a block, whatever feels good. Reach that right arm high. You've got a strong wall behind you and you're pressing your whole body into it. Reach between those hands. Take a deep breath. Legs are straight, but a little softness. And then bring right hand to hip. Left knee starts to bend. Block really useful again here as we move into our half moon, especially if you've got a block that's been bitten by your dog. <laughs> Lots of bite marks in this block. <laughs> Press your hand down into it and start to lift your back leg. Yes, so block on left hand side of that foot, right hand to hip and you can use it to kind of actively roll that right hip back so that you face the side. You could then reach that right arm high, flex your back foot, lift it a little higher. It's cool if you're falling and wobbling. That's cool, it means you're balancing, it means you're finding the balance. We need to find that wobble. And then if you took it on the other side, bending that back leg, reaching back for that foot. 
pressing foot into hand, rolling that right shoulder open for your chapasana. We're staying in your half moon, whatever your body wants to do today, which might be different from yesterday and last week and two years ago. And that's cool. That's okay, we can't expect ourselves to stay the same. Gently releasing that foot if you've got a hold of it. Gently releasing and taking the right hand down as we find a lunge. And then ground that back foot to warrior two feet, bending through the front knee. Ripple the arms back to find your reverse warrior. Deep breath here, opening up the side of the body. And then we mill the hands back down around the front foot. Step back to downward facing dog. And then ground your knees to the mat. And just come back to sit on your heels. Now we're moving into this next pose because when thinking about letting go, I feel like this I guess this exemplifies like our fears about it, right? Letting go is not always easy. Even if we know something is bad for us or not great for us or needs to go, it can still be really hard um, because we're used to it, right? Or we're clinging onto it for another reason. It might serve multi-purposes. And it can be really scary because we can see what's in front of us but not what's behind us. So we kind of can't see necessarily what it's gonna be like without it, right? We can't really see what we can't see, if that makes sense, what it's like without. <laughs> I don't think I explained that very well. So anyway, <laughs> we're gonna find a camel pose. And this is a big old meaty stretch. Um, so just go easy on it. I'll give you several options and you can work into it how you would like. We're gonna come up, tucking our toes behind us. Knees are stacked underneath hips. Shoulders are rolled back, hands are towards hips. And now this is really scary because what we're gonna do is we're gonna gradually lean back and we can't see what's there. So we've gotta just trust, right? And that's like letting go. Just trusting that it's gonna be okay. Trusting that what is the world when we've let go, it's cool, it's okay, it's better. <laughs> so hands on hips, roll shoulders back. And for this first one, press your hips forward, roll your shoulders back, lift the chest. And then maybe just stay here. Really lift that chest up, press forward with the hips. You don't wanna bend down, you really want to reach the body up. Take one more breath here. And then gently bring yourself up. Sit back down on your heels. Just take a couple of breaths here. So that's what you can always stay. We're gonna do two more. Stay with that. If that felt like a lot already, stay with that. Otherwise, we're gonna reach back up, tuck those toes. We're all gonna start in the same way. So start with hands on hips. Roll shoulders back, lift chest, press hips forward. And maybe you stay here, really reaching up with that chest, pressing forward with the hips, or maybe you drop the hands back to the heels. Still press that chest high. Don't fold down into it, lift up and back. Lifting up first, deep breaths here. And then gently, if your hands are on your heels, bring them back to your hips. Slowly ease yourself up and sit yourself back on your heels. And just breathe here. You might close your eyes just to check in with how you're feeling, ready for the last one. So either of those two versions or one more version that takes it a little bit further, gives you a little bit more. So take one more deep breath here. And then lift back up to your knees. Now this time I'm not gonna tuck my toes. 
So it's going to give a little more distance to go to. Feel free to tuck your toes, keep hands connected to hips. We're starting with hands on hips, rolling the shoulders back, lifting the chest, pressing the hips forward, starting up strong. We want to go up and round rather than just falling. And then maybe taking your hands back to heels, toes are tucked or not tucked. Really press up through that chest, hips pressing forward. Really finding that curve, facing the fear, falling backwards in space. And it's okay, it's sticky and it might be intense, but it's okay. If your hands are back on your heels, bring them to your hips, gently ease yourself up. Come back to sit on the heels. Palms facing up, just breathe here. Deep breaths. So you just align that spine back the other way. And then wiggle your knees as wide as your mat and just start to walk your hands forward really slowly. We're taking our body back in another way. So really gently easing yourself into your child's pose. Deep breaths here. Look up towards your fingertips. Walk your hands over to the right hand side. Right hand plants down, probably outside of your mat. Left hand could come on top of it. And you're just gonna fold over to the right. As far as you want to go. And then just allowing yourself to fold. Press the weight back into your left bum cheek still. So pressing the weight back to the left still, even though you're twisting over to the right. And then walk your hands back to center and then over to the left. Again, as far as you would like to go, you could then bring right palm on top of left and then allow yourself to ease down here. Sending the weight over to the right hand side, even though you're twisting over to the left. And then gaze towards your fingers, walk them back in to center. And lay here either with your arms outstretched or taking your hands back around your body. And from here, you could move into your Shavasana. You could gently find some twists, knees over to one side, maybe a happy baby. And then it's a perfect time to stretch out in that Shavasana on your back, arms wide, legs wide and release. Or equally, you could stay here for another couple of breaths, closing down the eyes. Or heck, even if you've got minutes, <laughs> if you've got five minutes, that would be wicked. I'm going to leave you here. I hope that you have let go of something today. Or you're going to go out into the world now and let go of something that you don't need anymore. Thanks so much.